High School in historic Wellsburg, West Virginia. WTRF proudly presents Ohio Valley Tonight with Nathan Marshall. Tonight's guest, Amish Monkey. Welcome to another edition of Ohio Valley Tonight with Nathan Marshall. And tonight I'm joined by Gina Preciado yeah. and Rocky Ghetto from Amish Monkeys in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Nice. Thank you for coming, guys. Yeah. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Appreciate yeah. it. And in case you don't know, Amish Monkeys is an improvisational group out of Pittsburgh. So I got to ask the obvious question, though, right off the bat. You obviously don't look like you churn butter. You know, your arms aren't big <laughs> enough yeah. for it. Now we're not Amish. And Rocky, you don't look like you swing from tree to tree and throw. Well, well fecal sometimes. matter, maybe. I don't know. Say. <laughs> not sure, but why the name Amish Monkeys? Well, the founding members of the group uh, decided to take a noun and an adjective, mm -hmm. right? And just. Just a together. random selection of nouns and adjectives. They just kept jamming words together, and Amish monkeys was one of the combinations. Yeah. And I it think stuck. the other one was uh, polka cats. Yeah, polka but we cats. went with the Amish monkeys instead. Yeah, so. that's how my that's how my birth name came about too. Oh, just two random nouns. Oh, and really? that's how you became yeah, polka Nathan cats. Marshall. Yeah, polka cats Marshall. Yeah, that's, that's how it became. <laughs> that's it's, it's a coincidence. I, I it's can't a good thing it. we went with Amish monkeys. Yeah, then. fortunate. It would have been very yeah. awkward. I mean, polka cats comes to high light tonight with polka cats Marshall. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have been. Wouldn't have been a good. Time. Now we need a final word for Lex to spell. One final word. Poopadoo. Poopadoo. I love this one. Poopadoo. Spell poopadoo. Poopadoo. Bathroom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. P. Dash. Hyphen. D. A. O. Poopadoo! All right, and define poopadoo. Poopadoo! Walking happily in to Mars with stomach jelly leaking. Poopadoo! Walking happily into Mars with stomach jelly leaking. Mrs. Teeter's fourth grade class. <laughs> Hey, look, Mars PA right over there. <laughs> oh, 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 no, I, I, temperature there. Oh, 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 oh it's oh, getting everywhere. Oh, it's getting everywhere. Here's, here's yes. the bag. Oh, thank you. Like we'll, we'll go to the Mars hospital. Yes, I think we will, because I think you have poop a do. <laughs> Well, I deal this one, with this on a day-to-day -day basis, improvisation. As an acting teacher, we, we do improv all the time. But for our audience at home who doesn't understand what the art of improvisation is, can you tell our audience what exactly the art of improvisation is and why is it considered an art form? Well, I think uh, improvisation is just being able to be spontaneous, mm -hmm. coming up with things on the fly. I mean, there's a little bit of acting involved, but it really opens up your mind and just lets you react to whatever, and work with other people. I think the most, what I like the best is being able to work with other people yeah. and building together, don't you think? Yeah, it's, yeah. it's really, Listening. yes, definitely. Um, it's really a combination of a lot of things that you generally pick up in acting. It's listening, it's uh, the physicality of positioning yourself correctly, mm -hmm. interacting properly with other actors, give and take, all those things come into play with improv. It's really a, a mesh of, yeah. of different skills. All those things. Yeah. And, and we are focused with improv is comedy, mm -hmm. hopefully. Yeah. Some, <laughs> we always sometimes. hope to get a laugh. Sometimes, sometimes it turns into sometimes a drama. Sometimes it's crickets, yeah. yeah but <laughs> but usually focus. we fo our focus is uh, comedic. Yeah. There's all different kinds of improv mm -hmm. groups, but we focus on the comedy, which is yeah. audiences like to see a struggle. Yeah, that's always nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hope they're in pain right now. <laughs> yeah, oh, they, yeah. Oh, look at Rocky. He's in such pain. <laughs> oh, this is the yes. best show ever. They actually do. I mean, they'll throw out a <laughs> suggestion and they'll start laughing before we even start. <laughs> Because they don't know what we're going to do with it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And with that uh, on our minds, I guess, and in your day-to-day -day life, uh, is there any ways that being a member of an improv group, such as the Amish Monkeys, helps you? And if so, how? Oh, for me, I mean, I, I'm totally out of the field. I'm a software developer, actually. Oh, wow. And uh, the biggest thing it does for me is the client interaction stuff, which acting has always done for me. It helps you interact with people. It helps you listen again. It mm -hmm. helps you deal and, and project the things that they need and also just gives you that votive of confidence. Yeah, yeah listening, it, and I actually use it in my job. I'm a pretend patient. Mm -hmm. I kind of help to train med students. And you really have to adjust what you're doing according to their skill level reward them. 
Um, so it really helps you to listen and to adjust what you're doing according to, to their skill level. Well, yes. have any of your, uh, your clients or people you work with or your coworkers ever came to watch you guys do improv? Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we didn't talk about it much afterwards. Uh, <laughs> No, uh, so we oh were God. there. Yeah. It's like a one-night stand. Yeah, basically, uh, with him and his wife. But the point is, <laughs> oh <God. laughs> sorry, kids. Too much edit. information. Uh, you can edit that out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. No, it, it's it's generally very complimentary, and um, people are kind of always surprised mm. after they see you perform because they don't they don't expect that. It's you go through so many things over the at least over the course of our show because we play yeah. a lot of games over the mm -hmm. course of a night. You go through so many different personalities and archetypes and, and mm -hmm. things that you're doing just in general. People are kind of surprised that you do all that. I think it's multitasking too. It helps. Uh, oh, definitely with multitasking. You have to be thinking yeah. of a million things at the same time when you're on stage. So. Yeah, and I think you have to be spontaneous a, a lot of times in life and if you can't go with the flow, I mean, you get really stressed out and it's just... It, it's one of those things. Every, life's changing. All and you time, don't have sure. control over yeah. things. In an improv, mm -hmm. you don't either. Yeah, exactly. You just yeah. build on what somebody's telling keep you. Building, keep building, keep building, keep mm -hmm. building. Oh, McSammy went to town to eat some McSammy. He needed to settle. He looked at the spam. And then he said, Why, thank you, ma'am. Oh, oh McSammy went, went to town to eat some McSammy. Are there, are there similarities between an improv group and a band? Because you always hear these band stories, uh, you know, where they break up and it's this big dramatic thing and, and this person had an ego and this person had an ego and this person had an ego. And I was wondering, what keeps a group of artists like yourselves together and performing? Yeah, well, I've been in, it's been a while. I've been in bands before. Mm -hmm. But the one thing, we've been pretty lucky, um, is give and take. Yeah. It's not just all about you. It's about listening and working together. And... Uh, we don't run into that too much, but it, what is, what's bad is if you're just out there doing your own idea. Yeah. I want to do this, and you don't care what's going on around you. Uh, there's like eight of us now that have been working together for a while, and you just get to know each other and support each other. I don't think we've ever kicked anybody out for having a big ego. Yet. <laughs> <laughs> Today we do, Rocky, and it's you. Surprise! Oh, glad you mentioned that, because he is such a diva. Yeah. No. I was going to say groupies, but okay, that works. <laughs> yeah, trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah trust. <laughs> Yeah, trust. Well, we've trust been pretty isn't... lucky. Yeah. yeah, we really have. Well, what are the groupies like for improv groups? <laughs> Group? Well, <laughs> um, they generally fall... A lot of granny panties. <laughs> Actually, yes. Uh, they, they generally fall to about 80 and above and 14 and below. <laughs> so there's a oh. whole weird oh. inverse yeah, subsection. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Throwing their bra on stage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whatever well, they've got handy, really. They're umbrellas, yeah. 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 A sledgehammer. Right, it's fun. Yeah. Whatever, yeah. yeah. A shoe. Yeah. It's all good. You can you get to keep it. Take it home. It's like a baseball game. <laughs> <sighs> oh, here we are at the college route. I hate these stupid kids. Let's see if they actually have money today. Come on, on the bus if you hey, must. Bus pass. That's Good expired. Night. Um, I have a buy one get one for pizza, but it says void where prohibited. Yeah, so you're, we're, I don't serve pizza no, on here. I know, but it's for the free one. Yeah, but ugh, just go back. Ugh. Easy pass. Easy. What? That's not a turnpike. Just drive the bus. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> well, all of our students uh, that work on this show actually are in theater classes, and which I think is really cool. And they all love improv. I mean, they oh, love great. it. We had improv mm -hmm. night this year, and, it's, and they just great. really love it. That's and really cool. one of our students here, who's a sophomore at Brook High School, Seth Holmes, has a question about improv, and it's right here. I love improv. Can you give me some helpful tips on how I can become a professional improv artist like yourselves? That's a great question because, mm -hmm. I mean, not everybody knows how to get involved in a group like mm -hmm. the Amish Monkeys. Um, to practice. Practice is the big thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, I understand you guys are remote. I, I lived remote for a while and I couldn't do improv with the Monkeys. Mm -hmm. uh, if you can't find a group that does it, then start your own. You mm -hmm. just need to be around people yeah. who do it and keep doing it and practice, practice, practice. It's like any art form. You just need to practice. Yeah. I, th I think what a lot of, uh, we've had actually high school kids and junior high mm -hmm. school kids come to our shows yeah. and they'll watch what we do and then they'll go back and they'll you know, use some of the same games and some of the same formats and it's really helpful to watch some improv as well. Yeah. I think it, it's yeah. good. And we try to be supportive of that, too. Yeah. And, and the biggest thing is really to do it. Mm -hmm. It's, Just it's do. one of those skills you can't really academically do. You have to go out and do it. And yeah. make your own, like you said, make your own group. Mm -hmm. and, and don't be afraid to fail. Yeah. Just because there's oh, no yeah. failing. Just go for it. 
just go for it. Well, even uh, one of the principles of improv is yes and. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you know, that's if you said that more in life, you know, that would be a good thing. Yeah, unless somebody was, you know, going to rob you. Yeah. yeah, yeah yes, you but they could save your life, though. They could save your life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, so, and I'm going to call the police. Yeah. But don't say that to him. Yeah, that would be a bad thing. Yeah, that would be. Well, again, I want to thank my guests today who have been Gina Preciado and Rocky Gettle from the Amish Monkeys. Funky Amish Monkeys, for sure. Thanks and so much, Nathan. No problem. Great. Thank you for coming. And they're from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And you can learn more information about uh, improv or the Amish Monkeys by visiting www.amishmonkeys.com. Pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Amishmonkeys.com. I bet there won't be too many of those. <laughs> no, there aren't. That's true. <laughs> and for a high value tonight, this has been Nathan Marshall. Oh, I always yeah. wondered what oh, happened. Yeah. People just pretending to talk. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah, you are. Now. It's true. <laughs> Great. Oh, I've ruined everything by talking for real. I, I continue to do this. Like I, I'm trying not to do this because the last couple episodes I always go. There's credits. I make this <laughs> oh, gesture every time. No. Well, there's credits. And like, like I'm the Swedish chef, like throwing things no. or something.